Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, we are going to continue with congestion. So till now we discussed about multiple routing algorithms, right? Yes. So now let us go through congestion. So basically what is congestion? So we will be saying that whenever in a single bench, whenever we are sitting in our colleges or somewhere, so whenever if a bench is designed for two students and if three students are sitting in it, so they will be saying that ma'am the bench is a bit congested like that, right? So what is basically congestion? So congestion is nothing but so even you can say whenever there is a road and there is a huge traffic going in it. So whenever you, uh, you come to your home and your mom asks you why, why are you late. So you, you will be saying that there is a huge traffic. Due to that we, we became late. So you can say like that right. You will be saying like that. Yes. So that is nothing but congestion guys. So basically it is because of congestion. The flow previously you used to grow in 10 minutes. Due to congestion you went in 20 minutes. So it wasted your 10 minutes. So the here. Due to this problem of congestion, your performance or your vehicle performance has been degraded or decreased. Okay. So congestion is a state in which the network performance decreases. So similarly, if congestion happens in network, the transfer of packet from one place to another place, that is nothing but one node to another node might take longer than expected. That's nothing but congestion. Okay. So this happens when network is holding too much or too many packets, which are much more than the network capacity bandwidth. Okay. Similarly, the road is designed for a normal basic traffic, but if there is a heavy traffic that will obviously get blocked, right? So that is the same way here also. If there are too many packets on a single path, then there will be a huge traffic there. That is a huge congestion there. Okay. So the network and transport layer share the responsibility. So here it is not only the duty of network layer, but along with transport layer, both of them combined will be taking care of this congestion. Okay. So from now on, we'll be around to five to six lectures. We'll be just discussing about congestion control guys. Okay, so congestion control refers to the mechanism technique that can either prevent congestion before it happens or remove congestion after it happens. So congestion control, how we can do once it happens, we'll be trying to resolve it or preventing it from happening. So that uh, those are the two mechanisms, right? So basic mechanisms which we can follow. So as we know, congestion occurs within the network layer that directly experiences it and must ultimately determine what to do with the excess packets so it should think right so if there is a heavy traffic in a road you know that then what you will be doing will be taking some alternate path why will be going in that again to waste our time right so that will be the only solution if you want to waste your time you'll be going there if not you'll be selecting some other shortest path if there is any if there is no path you'll be obviously you are stuck along with them right yes so thus the most effective ways to control congestion is to reduce the load that the transport layer is placing on the network Okay, so how you can reduce it? Okay, so basically if you just draw a small graph, so these are, this is nothing but the speed guys, that is nothing but packets per second. Okay, so if you increase, so a basic good system, it will be looking in this way guys. So an ideal item, so ideally we'll be thinking a system should work in this way. Okay, so this is your ideal and the maximum capacity of the network. Okay, so but we will be getting an output in this way guys, this is our desired response. Okay, so which we think we are getting. This is the ideal situation like how the congestion without congestion and anything, how fast the data should transfer. But with without congestion and normally now how it is going is nothing but desired response. But if you go at a higher rate, like you are transferring more and more at that time, at some point you will be reaching to congestion. Assume it is here. So once you reach the congestion, the whole flow will be going down guys. Because all the packets will be selecting some other path and everything should be done again. So that is the reason why congestion is a huge problem in networking guys. So when too much traffic is often congested comes down to play. Congestion comes into play and performance degrades. So if you observe here the performance has been degraded. Hence we should find a solution for this. Yes. So the solution for this is nothing but congestion control algorithms guys. We'll be discussing about them in our next lectures. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through differences between congestion control and congestion flow. So most of the students will be thinking that both are the same congestion control and flow control, right? So we'll be discussing about them in the next lecture. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.